I am Super Destructo Mech. Who will come and fight me? I will fight you! You cannot fight me, you are tiny and blue. But I will fight you! But you can't fight me. But I will fight you! Oh, hello again, Internet. Fancy meeting you here! So, quite a bit has happened since last we spoke. The Lich King has been slain by quite a few people, actually. At the time of this recording, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of 80 different guilds have killed the Lich King on normal mode. Now, most of those kills happened last week, which means this week those guilds are working on heroic modes. Uh, according to WowProgress.com, at the time of this recording, uh, somewhere in the vicinity of 50 guilds have already started killing heroic modes. Now here's the really crazy part. Again, according to WowProgress.com, 10 guilds have already killed every single boss that is not limited by attempts on heroic mode. So that means that these guilds have gone through and done Lord Marigar, Lady Death Whisper, the Gunship Battle, uh, Deathbringer Sourfang, Festergut, Rotface, the Blood Princes, and Valithria Dreamwalker, all on heroic mode, all within the span of about two days. And as far as the bosses with limited attempts go, a handful of guilds have already started killing them, too. Five guilds have already killed Blood Queen Lanathel, and Paragon, which is a European guild, has already killed uh, Syndragosa as well. This begs the question, Bleh? 10 out of 12 hard modes killed two days after they're available? Really? I mean, I'm not talking down on these guys' accomplishment whatsoever. These are fantastic guilds filled with amazing players. I uh, just kind of expected that even those guys would get a little bit more of a challenge out of all of this. Now keep in mind, this is only the guilds that managed to kill the Lich King last week. Since then, not only have several hot fixes gone in that made the encounter generally easier overall, and also a bunch of the other encounters, uh, but they've also removed limited attempts from normal mode bosses. So, naturally, that means that we're going to see a lot more Lich King kills this week, and then, by extension of that, a lot more Heroic Mode kills next week. So then, where does that leave us for the rest of the expansion? Now, obviously, most guilds aren't going to kill 10 out of 12 Hard Modes in two days' time. Uh, most everybody is still going to have to progress through the instance, and, you know, it'll probably take a couple months. Even if we say it'll take six months or something like that, though, Cataclysm's not even in beta yet. In fact, as far as any of us are aware, there isn't even an alpha going on yet. Now, looking back at Wrath of the Lich King, the beta started in July. Uh, patch 3.0 came out in October, and then the expansion itself came out in November. So from that, we can make an educated guess that once Cataclysm hits beta, it'll probably be about three or four months before it comes out. Now, from there, we can make a couple guesses as to what path Blizzard is likely to take here. Guess number one is that Cataclysm really isn't that far out at this point, and we might be seeing a beta soon, which would be awesome. The other possibility is a while ago they did mention, I think it was at BlizzCon actually, uh, they said that if necessary they would be ready to roll out another small raid encounter or two, uh, just to kind of tide people over until Cataclysm comes along. Now that probably wouldn't be a big, huge new instance or everything. They've been pretty clear that they want Ice Crown to be the big finale for the Wrath of the Lich King expansion. More likely, it would just be a new boss or two, uh, just like their own instance or something. Like maybe a couple new uh, portals under Wormrest Temple, uh, you know, just something small like that. We do know that they're aiming for a 2010 release date for the expansion. Uh, that was announced fairly recently by Activision in a, uh, an investor press conference sort of thing. Um, that doesn't guarantee a 2010 release date because Blizzard kind of operates on their own time and everything, but it's what they're aiming for. That's also, you know, several months, seeing as how it's February. So, to recap, uh, the top guilds are absolutely plowing through hard modes. Uh, limited attempts are gone on normal modes, so everyone else won't be too far behind. And at some indeterminate point in the future, something else is going to happen. Side note, uh, you know that press conference I mentioned earlier? Well, they also mentioned in that that the StarCraft II beta was ready to launch this month. I don't know about anybody else. But, on a scale of 1 to 10, I am absolutely stoked. So, that's all for this week. I will see you later.